What's up guys, Tao here. So you just got your brand new iPhone and you cannot wait to set it up and use it. If you are an iPhone or iPad user and it's gonna be very, very straightforward, just follow the quick setup instruction and it will be done in no time. However, here I have a Android device, which is the OnePlus 6T and we're gonna transfer some data onto the new iPhone. Just imagine you are an Android user and this is your very first iPhone so we're gonna go through the setup procedure and just see how difficult or how easy it is so let's dive in all right the method we are going to use is use the app called move to iOS you can download from the Play Store on the Android device and uh, just follow the instruction and you should be done in no time now I have downloaded the app already I just tap on that it says move to iOS and then you just follow instruction to click on continue and you agree and find your code now if you don't see the code on your phone uh, so make sure the phone is switched on and select the language English uh, region United Kingdom and once you go into the setup manually and here you can choose the Wi-Fi network uh, all right the Wi-Fi is connected and click on next and the next screen it should just come up saying which option do you want to use to set up this brand new iPhone all right now just for the instruction continue and use face ID we're gonna do this afterwards and we can set up later and the passcode we are going to do it later and don't use now just follow the instruction here okay here we go so on your Android device find your code can see move data from Android so there's a fourth option and click on the move from Android and now the iPhone actually will remind you to download the app move to iOS now since we have downloaded on the Android device and we are going to continue so here is the code it will ask you now continue on the Android device and type in the same code and now it will immediately recognize the iPhone here so if you notice that on the Wi-Fi indicator the logo has gone the icon has gone which means the phone two phones has been connected uh, via the Wi-Fi direct so these two actually connected directly and if you click on continue so this actually now will connect to the Wi-Fi and so device to use with move to iOS which is that thing so it's iOS 9109C um, which is the iPhone right now and you connect and hopefully it's connect smoothly okay here we go now it's connected what you're trying to do is now here are the options you can transfer Google account and messages, contacts, and camera roll. So essentially on the phone, uh, which is my Google account, which is my Gmail, and also all my messages uh, linked on this phone, actually it's on this phone, and the contacts on this phone, and the images on this phone. So let's just go through, and now it should just do the job. So it says time remaining 40, well, about 40 minutes now. So hopefully it's gonna do pretty quickly and we will come back in uh, 40, 45 minutes maybe. All right, now it seems like it's finished from the Android device. It says your data has been copied to your new iOS device. Some items were not copied, such as purchased apps or media or media that is saved within apps. And oh, ask you to recycle the Android device. Oh, certainly not. So I am going to click on done. And now the Android side is done. Let's just wait for the iPhone to finish. It says moving items into place and. Um, yeah, I think it's just trying to sort out the types of files and maybe images where you have it. So transfer complete, continue to set up iPhone and now you continue. Here we'll ask you for the Apple ID. We are 
going to do a later and uh, set up later don't use and just want to see what kind of uh, content actually uh, came across it says keep your iPhone update continue not now location man uh, disable for now and uh, set up later I just want to see the main screen come on true tone yeah and uh, yeah continue okay hold now we are finally in the main screen it says add your android device apps from the app store now it actually will find equivalent apps from the app store on the ios and download them now the apps if they find apps they are there but the in-app purchases or the in-app content will not be come across because simply it doesn't know the data in the app so it looks like a free apps it will be downloaded apps may offer enough purchase to learn blah 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 so let's say you know what let's just add apps see what happens so what is going to happen okay welcome to app library okay yes yeah, so that's fine um seems like nothing's happening oh okay Right, so for me to download apps, I need to sign into my Apple ID. So yeah, uh, I'm going to quickly sign in and see what is going to happen. Just let me log in. And let's just wait and see what's happening now. A okay, so now Ashley is downloading the equivalent app, which is um, the apps from my um, OnePlus. And let's just uh, see. Yeah, so you can see this. Um, some apps actually is coming across, and also trying to download all those equivalent apps, which is great news. So if you are under users and you have loads, loads apps, which is can can be found in the app store. So you don't need to actually download them individually. This actually will download your apps. Now bear in mind, if the apps require a password and a username and all anything in the app it will not be transferred it simply it just tr download the app itself you're gonna have to log in i'm afraid and you're gonna have to re-download the content in the individual apps so yeah it's um it's time saving you have a lot of apps to download onto the new iphone let's see if i actually transfer the messages Oh, actually, yeah, actually the messages came across anything on the Android device actually come across to the new iPhone. Now, if you do have Google account, which is I believe you do because you use Android phone, the easiest way is to use Google services. So sign in with your Google uh, Gmail essentially, and you can link everything to your Gmail. So like images, contacts calendar stuff literally all you need is to sign into your gmail on the new iphone use the app and then you are uh, ready to go and also actually let me see the images uh, yep the images actually came across which is good stuff and i believe that's very important to a lot of users images contacts but if your contacts link to your Gmail, I would suggest you just sign in to your uh, Gmail account within the mail and that you will have option of what you want to sync. So for example, the Gmail is here. Now, right now, that is not synced. All right, now I have entered my Gmail password and now it should just so here in my Gmail, now I have a mail, context, and a calendar. Everything is synchronized with my a Google account, which is my Gmail. Now let's go back to contacts. Now hopefully, oh yes, oh yes. Actually everything came across, which is fantastic. And actually, no, this actually works really well. Um, I, it's better than I expected which is, um, yeah, I mean, save you a lot of hassle to move everything manually.
Very good. So what have we learned from this? Um, to my surprise, the process actually is very, very straightforward. It only took about 30 to 35 minutes, if I remember right. And uh, actually shorter than the estimate. Estimate run about 40 to 45 minutes, which is uh, a good thing and take less time. And also the content, it actually will uh, transfer the images. Now the context needs to be linked to your Google account because your Google account is going to be transferred over and your contacts and your calendar. So essentially it's the Google services. Now, if you don't want to use the move to iOS app, so you simply just set up the phone as normal. Even if you do not have Apple ID, you don't have to use iPhone with Apple ID. After you get into the screen screen and uh, use the Gmail as your email account and turn on the calendar mail and the contacts toggle and then you will be fine. So all the contacts which is linked to your Google account will come across to the new iPhone. And yes, all about the Google services. Same as photo, if you use Google photo, great. So it's unlimited storage and all the pictures will be automatically saved there. You don't need to worry about it, it will come across automatically. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. This is it. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please share the video with others. Maybe they will benefit from this video. And um, yeah, please leave a comment if you have any opinion. So see you guys in the next video.